as you all know infertility is a global problem about 8 to 12 percent couples suffer due to infertility previously it was thought that it is the female factor that is predominantly responsible for the couple's infertility but now the trends have changed the male factor is equally responsible for the couple's infertility hi i'm dr sanjay prakash clinical lead andrologist and urologist from Asian Institute of Nephrology and Urology, Chennai. Do you know that there's nearly a 50% drop in the sperm parameter since the last 40 years? And there is a steady 2% drop in the sperm counts every year. More men are developing poor sperm counts, poor sperm movements and a lot of men in fact do not have any sperms in the ejaculate what we call as the azoospermia. There are many causes for male infertility like genital infections, varicocele, hormonal imbalances, environmental factors, any injury to the genital organs or certain medications and genetic causes. Now there is an increasing trend towards more irreversible causes of male infertility and among them the genetic causes constitutes about 15 to 30 percent. Yes, this is a rising concern. Human spermatogenesis requires an orchestrated expression of nearly 4000 genes at different levels. Most of these genetic causes are acquired and sporadic. These genetic mutations lead to defects in the sperm movement, sperm morphology, sperm counts and the most severe form azoospermia. The commonest chromosomal and genetic causes that are associated with male infertility are uh, y chromosome microdeletion where a small piece of uh, y chromosome is missing next is Klinefelter syndrome where the male child is born with the extra x chromosome and few more genes have also been identified which can lead to abnormalities of the sperm shape and movement lastly another condition known as the congenital absence of vast difference where although the sperm production happens in the testis but it does not come into the ejaculate these are some of the common genetic causes that are associated with male infertility so when do we do routinely genetic testing as per the standard international guidelines genetic testing is recommended when there are no sperms in the ejaculate or when the sperm count is severely low that is less than 5 million per ml and when there is any abnormalities of the male reproductive tract. The importance of genetic testing is that we can arrive at a diagnosis, prognosticate the sperm retrieval and personalize the therapy so that we can give the couples a realistic idea about the fertility outcomes. So how do we deal with couples in such situations? Firstly, the male factor has to be evaluated by a qualified andrologist to determine whether genetic testing is necessary or not, are there any hormonal imbalances and whether the man would benefit from some microsurgical sperm retrieval directly from the testis. Next, a teamwork comprising of embryologists, genesis and the reproductive medicine is necessary as such couples require adequate genetic counselling and sometimes the female partner requires genetic evaluation and also pre-genetic screening of the embryos may also be necessary. At the end of the day, the couple still have a very good chance of their own genetic and healthy offspring provided they seek the medical attention at the right time. It is a wake up call for the men to understand the reality and to start to lead a healthy lifestyle. At least we can achieve good control over the preventable factors of male infertility. Thank you.